Hello and welcome to the Simpax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use, edit, and mess with all the effects and assets from the Cinepax Fire Effects Pack. So we're going to be doing this all in DaVinci, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, now this pack comes in two separate zip folders, all right? So what I usually like to do is I open them up and I grab all the folders from each of them and I drag them outside of the zip folder all into one single folder that then I use to import into DaVinci. So you can do whatever you want, just extract them. Once you have them all extracted, go onto your media page in uh, DaVinci and go ahead, import them, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, now this pack comes with a ton of different things, but why don't we start with the paper burn transitions? Because these are the trickiest. They're not that hard, but they take a little bit getting used to. So let me just show you how you can put them all together because you gotta construct a few different things. If you open up the folder here, as you can see, there's a nice cool clip here and it's more of a transition effect so you transition from one clip to another but each transition has two separate files you have your mat and then you have the actual overlay that you put on top of the footage all right so i got some footage in the timeline here so why don't we start putting this together so i want to transition from this clip to this clip now let me find first thing you want to do find where you want the clip to end the transition so um i want it to kind of stop right around there so i'm going to trim it right there and then we'll start transitioning now there's plenty of different ways that you can put this effect together in davinci here i'm personally today going to show you how to use fusion that way the effect is baked into the clip and you can move it around and work with it really easily in the editor so why don't we go ahead and bring it into fusion all right so once you open up fusion what you got to do is find the transition that you want in your media pool so i'm going to use paper transition one go ahead and grab the track mat which is the black and white one and we will use this as a mask to reveal the footage underneath so just connect this to the blue dot of your media in and let's click on this rename it real quick to where's the rename rename it to matt all right then what we want to do is click on our media in here go over to our settings right here this tab and change the channel to luminance make sure it's on luminance once we have all that done open up your keyframe editor and basically if you zoom around here you'll see that our paper burn transition which is our mat is starting at the beginning of our clip which we do not want we want it to end right here on this yellow line right here which is where we have our base footage cropped to now you see this number right here right here in this box that will tell you what frame your footage ends on in the edit page so that's where we want this transition to end so mine is 370 so go ahead and i'm going to drag this all the way over until i get it to 370 which is right there and as you can see right here it ends on 370 and this says 370 right there so now if we play this through you'll see that it burns away and it reveals transparency underneath it now that's looking nice so far but what we want to do is add the actual burn overlay to this so go ahead and drag this in as well and just drag it on the line in between your media in and the media out to merge them and as soon as you merge them that's all you have to do you just have to drag this one over as well so it is at 370 as well so let's move that right there. Now they're all lined up at 370. And if we play it through, we have an awesome fire transition. Back in the edit page, now all you gotta do is basically put whatever footage that you wanna reveal underneath it, just put it on the layer below it. And your transition is complete. All set and done. And it's super easy, you can just drag this, move this around, whatever you need to do. As you can see, it's all contained in this one footage. I can even drag in a different clip, put it underneath it, and the transition works all the same. Perfect. All right, let's mess with a few other clips here as well. So other things that are included in the pack are much easier to mess with. It's just drag and drop. Like we have embers here, so you can drag this in. And with the embers and stuff, you wanna change all the blend modes to screen or add or something, something along that lines. I like screen personally let me find where it is screen and if we play this now you can see you have a fire kind of burn around the corner there along with that we also have fire bursts and stuff which you can do the exact same thing switch it to screen and it will have your blend mode all set perfectly and it looks pretty cool i like to layer this with the embers so you kind of do a little bit of both and when you put them both together i think you get a much better kind of overall effect so the fire just by itself 
looks better when you add the embers. There, that looks really sick. I like it. My personal favorite though is the fire transitions. These you can just grab and put right in between two different clips and you'll get a really sick transition if I lined it up right. Uh, not perfectly, right there. And switch it to screen as usual. And there you go, you got an awesome sick fire effect. Look at that, that was clean. Most importantly here though, I wanna show you how you can install the LUTs because you have to install those into DaVinci in order to use them. Now to bring the LUTs into DaVinci, all you have to do is go up to File, Project Settings, and then when that opens up, go down to Color Management and scroll down to Lookup Tables and click Open LUT Folder. Now this is going to open up the folder where DaVinci stores all of its LUTs. Once you have this folder open, what you want to do is go over to your Fire Effects Pack, find your LUTs, and drag them into this folder. Now inside my lookup tables for DaVinci Resolve, I already have a folder that is labeled Cinepax, so let me see where that is. Right there, Cinepax. So I'm going to open up that folder, and just to be organized, I'm going to drag in my Fire LUTs into that. And just like that, it's going to be installed. So go back over to DaVinci and to finish it up, click update lists. And as soon as you click update lists, it's going to update them and put them into DaVinci. So you're all set. Now these LUTs are designed specifically to be used with the flame effects. Uh, I mean, you could throw them on normal footage, but I think they're mostly meant for changing the colors of the flames. So let me show you how to use them. To apply them, go ahead and open up the color page. And all you have to do is, let me close a few things out here, we have a lot of things open. Um, all you have to do is go over to the LUTs tab right here. And now you can see if I open up my Cinepax folder, there's the fire LUTs that we just grabbed. It'll give you a preview of what each one looks like. I personally want to try out the blue, so if I run my mouse over that, there's the blue. Um, what I do like second is the Inferno LUT, so if we play that, you can see that it brings out the red, makes a really cool awesome contrast to the flames. As well as that, there's plenty of other different colors and styles that you can apply here. To apply them, all you have to do is right click on it and apply LUT to current node. And as soon as you do that, as you can see, it's applied to the node and it looks really cool. If none of these LUTs are really what you're looking for, of course you can go ahead and switch the hue around yourself over here in the editor. Uh, even mess with the gain and mess with the brightness a little bit if you if you really want to. Um, you can really customize these to your heart's content. And that about wraps up our entire pack there. Um, one last thing, if you guys want to, if you want to use one of these fire split effects, um, it's super easy, but just in case you guys are new to DaVinci, let me show you how you can just move things around into these frames. So I'm going to grab two different footage. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to, let me move this into frame here. Um, and I'm going to grab this footage right here. And I want to put one person into each frame here. And I want to put one clip into each of these separate frames here. So all you have to do is, of course, change this to screen, all of them. Um, screen, screen right there. And go ahead, grab the clip that you want, click on the transform. All you have to do is move it into frame. You can hold down shift to keep it lined up. And I'm going to put it right there. Then you can click on the arrow and switch to crop. That way you can actually crop the sides so it covers it by the flames. Then click on the next clip that you want and switch back to transform. I'm going to hold down shift so it stays in position. Frame this guy's face right there and since this clip is covering the rest, we don't need to crop this one. If we play that through, it looks really sick and nice. I like how it came out. Uh, you can probably do whatever you want to clean that up if you want to actually add a transition on top of it. Uh, we could just go ahead and feather the edges if we really wanted it to look a little bit neater. Just go ahead and bring up our softness just a little bit and bring down the crop just a little bit. That way it looks a little bit cleaner when the fire comes in. Another thing that hopefully doesn't need too much explanation is sound effects. So we have plenty of different things that you can play through. So we can go ahead and just drag these into any of our clips that we just made today. So we can just apply a burst there. So we have a little bit of flame sound effects there and maybe over here where we have our embers and stuff. We can kind of have our ember loop here, which that is a longer sound effect that kind of just ambient embers in the background. Sounds really nice, and I like it.
And then with this ember one, of course, you can also loop this. So I can just hold down alt, drag it out and duplicate it. So then if it plays through, it'll just keep looping and looping for as long as we want. So with all of that put together, you have a complete pack to create any kind of fire effect that you want to. If you guys have not purchased this pack yet, we will be dropping a sample pack with a few free assets that you can mess around with and just get a feel for it before making any decisions. So make sure to keep your eye out for that. Other than that, I hope you guys are able to create a lot of awesome things with this and have a lot of fun doing it. So happy editing and peace.